Trump agrees to delay U.S. South Korean military exercises to ease tensions with North Korea. Two days after he taunted North Korea about his nuclear button, President Trump indicated Thursday he would postpone long-planned joint U.S. military exercises with South Korean forces to ease tensions on the Korean Peninsula during the Winter Olympics. Trump told South Korean President Moon Jae-in in a phone conversation that he would agree to deconflict the Olympics and our military exercises so both nations focus on ensuring the security of the Games, the White House said in a statement. The Olympics torch lighting ceremony is on February 9 in the South Korean town of Pyeongchang, about 60 miles south of the world's most heavily armed border, and the Games will run until February 25th. Moon had requested the delay last month and Trump's belated agreement came as Seoul and Pyongyang re-established an emergency hotline on the border and moved to start bilateral talks there on January 9, a nascent thought that largely left the United States on the sidelines. The White House statement did not specifically say the annual exercises, called Full Eagle, would be postponed. But a Pentagon spokesman said they were being pushed back until after the Olympics end, although he did not give a date. About 17,000 American and more than 300,000 South Korean troops participated in the 2017 exercises, which included drills to preemptively detect, defend, disrupt and destroy North Korean nuclear and missile facilities. North Korea views the annual exercises as pretext for an invasion from the South. The two heavily armed nations have had endured an uneasy peace since an armistice ended the Korean War in 1953. China. Russia and other world powers long have proposed a so-called freeze for a freeze as the basis for reviving nuclear disarmament talks with the North. That would require the United States to suspend military exercises in South Korea in exchange for North Korea suspending further nuclear and ballistic missile tests. Successive U.S. administrations have strenuously rejected that linkage, saying U.S. military operations on the peninsula are defensive in nature, and thus legal under international law while Pyongyang's nuclear tests are in violation of multiple United Nations resolutions. On Wednesday, North and South Korea reopened a hot phone link at the truce village of Panmunjom, which sits on the border. Liaison officials from the two governments spoke for about 20 minutes, exchanging names and technical information, Seoul's Unification Ministry said. While the United Nations hailed the apparent de-escalation, the White House has eyed the contact warily worried it might be left out of talks in which Moon would offer overly generous concessions to North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. On Tuesday, Trump responded to Kim's claim that he had a nuclear button on his desk by tweeting back that his nuclear button is much bigger and more powerful. The tweet was so unusual that two Democrats on the Senate Intelligence Committee, Senators Martin Heinrich of New Mexico and Ron White of 